Hey guys, how you doing today? My name is Natalie Cruz and we're here with Chris Broussard at Hidden Soul. How you doing today, Chris? I am great. How are you? Good. I'm doing great. Yeah. So today I'm just going to be asking you a few questions about the sneaker stuff. You know what I mean? Sneaker okay. game and all that, you know? Okay. Okay. So what are your favorite sneakers? Uh, definitely the Jordans. Uh, I would say the Jordan 3s, 4s, and the 11s. Yep, can't go wrong. Yeah. Yes, those are my favorite those pair, too. Those are the too. three top Jordans in my book. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I see you got the low top yeah, 11s yeah, on, too, yeah. right I now. Got a so, bunch of 11, so, yeah, it's the best. <laughs> so, um, and what is what made your interest in sneakers? I mean, growing up, you know, everybody was in the sneakers. Shoot. Right. I'm not going I don't want to date myself, but when I was coming up, it was it was the Chuck Taylors initially. Oh, okay. And everybody like made that. them fresh just de depending on the different colors you had. Right. Different color shoe strings people put in them and that's how you differentiated yeah. them, right? Most definitely. And then when Nike came out with the leather sneakers, you know, Nike became tops um but when i you know when i was in high school it was a lot of different brands like right. pony mm -hmm. ponies were hot obviously adidas um you know you had etonic avia like you had a bunch a of different whole, yes, yeah yes. it wasn't just nike and adidas mm -hmm. reeboks were hot but now obviously nike's really taking over yeah they're taking yes yeah, and well, adidas definitely. is still dope but um yeah just you know just growing up being interested in sneakers mm -hmm. and um it's, it's great that it's really blown up the way it has because it, it's yeah. created a lot of jobs, yeah. a lot of opportunity for entrepreneurs to, to take now, advantage. Sure. Yeah, so, um, mm -hmm. so I'm happy with, with the way it's blown up. But it's funny seeing all these old sneakers yeah, that were out when I was a kid. Yeah. And now all the young people that didn't even see Jordan play <laughs> are like wearing Jordan. So right. it's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> So uh, my next question to you is, who do you think are some of the footwear designers with the most influence? I mean, I don't know all the designers. The only one I know about really is Tinker Hatfield, I think is his name, the guy that, that did the Jordans. Oh, okay. And he, I don't think he did the ones, mm -hmm. but he, if you notice with the Jordans, after the ones, they became really distinct. You yeah. had the ones with the iguana skin, I think, and then... Right. Obviously, the threes, like nothing looked like him. Exactly. And that was him. He might have started with the threes, though, now okay. that I think about it. But whatever the case, mm -hmm. he's the one that really created that the Jordans and they became, thing. yeah. Right. And, um, you know, because a lot, there were a few guys with signature sneakers. Patrick yeah. Ewing, had, you had the Ewings and, and some other ones. But Jordans just went to a whole nother level because right. of his game. And because of the way the shoes look. Mm -hmm. I love and, that. Uh, yeah. That's nice. So, so yeah. Um, my next question to you now is, how many pairs of sneakers do you think you have in your closet right now? <laughs> I don't even really want to say. <laughs> well, give like an estimate. Uh, let me put think. it this way. I, I probably have about 60 or 70. But I've given <laughs> away. I've given away. Uh, probably 40 or wow. 50 yeah That's just over the years to to friends or right. family members mm -hmm. or you know I love that so you got a good collection going on right now yeah, in your closet yeah, then huh yeah it's, it's yeah it's, it's finding space to to uh put them yeah, yeah. and to be honest I, and and I'm I'm just going to keep it real I mean obviously I wear I wear my sneakers out but yes. I always think to myself man I wish I had all these when I was like 19. Yeah. I would have been the man. <laughs> right? Have it now all I, now I have collection. to look for opportunities to wear them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, as a kid, obviously, I would have been wearing them every day. But, yes. um, but yeah, I got, I got a pretty good amount. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I know I have a good collection going on myself. <laughs> so, um, and my last question to you today, Chris, is what is the one thing that you would never do in your favorite pair of sneakers? Well, like, like, say for the, these are not just my favorite, but in these, I wouldn't hoop in these. Yeah, right. You know, like, exactly. I, I wouldn't, and and even though these are black basketball shoes, mm -hmm. like the Jordans I have, I wouldn't hoop in yeah. unless they're older ones. I do actually hoop in some of them, but they're older ones. Like you have shoes that you actually do. Yeah, I have shoes that I'll in. play basketball in. Yeah. But most of my shoes now, I wouldn't hoop in because, you know, I wear them right. for show. Right, for the fashion yeah, yeah, type yeah, of thing. Yeah, so even though they may be basketball shoes. Yeah, it's like, that's not for basketball. Uh, right, right, right. Um, 
But yeah, you got to have your shoes that you do yard work in yes. and all that. Every and shoe you have has your a shoes different. You play ball in and your mm-hmm. shoes that you wear that yes. you want to look good in. So, exactly. Yeah, that's yes. how it works. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much today for your time, Chris. You're I had welcome. a great time interviewing you. You're welcome. We're good job people. too. Thank you. I've I've interviewed some people, so I. I Oh, I know yeah. how it works. I love Good that. Job. I love that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so, right. so much. Right. Well, bye, guys. We're here at Hidden Souls. Again, this is Natalie Cruz. And we're here with... Chris Broussard. Look, y'all got to come check this out. If you're in L.A., in the L.A. area, Fox Hills Mall, Hidden Soul. And I'm, you know, yeah. I live in New York. And this is some of the best uh, collection that East I've Coast. seen. Shout yeah. out to the so, East Coast. Um, so by so the definitely way. come check, check it out here at Hidden Soul. Yes. Thank you guys so much.